Hey everybody, I'm Steven, and in this edition of the Todoist Monthly, I'll be sharing everything that is new and updated in Todoist in October 2023. This month, we've really been focusing on small quality of life improvements. There's been a ton of stuff happening behind the scenes. I think we released 240 approximately uh, changes across all of our apps this month but I'm gonna highlight six that are potentially interesting. <laughs> uh, so the first is if you like to see all the tasks that you've completed, we've had this like view completed tasks option available, but if you turned it on and then navigated to a different project and came back, they would not be visible anymore. Now we have fixed it, so they stay on until you turn them off yourself. The next change is actually also part of that same view popover, which is how you switch between uh, list and board view. So before it was another dropdown that you had to click and now it's this much prettier, more visual tabs component to switch between them. Also, we have a keyboard shortcut for this. This is something that has already existed, but I just want to call it out, which is Shift V to toggle between the two. Another keyboard shortcut related update is we've changed the shortcut for copying the link to a task. I don't know what it was before, but now it is Command Shift C if you're on a Mac or Control Shift C if you're on Windows. Another nice visual change we've made is to the multi-select toolbar. So now if you hold down command or control and click on multiple tasks in a list, this nice element will appear and you can make batch changes to your tasks. The functionality is the same as it used to be, it just looks different now. The last change that you might notice is that we have fixed the macOS uh, reminder notifications. Previously they were broken and now if you click on the notification, it'll take you directly to that task. And if you press the complete button on the notification, it'll actually complete the task, which is great because that's probably what you wanted to do. <laughs> okay, two more things that I wanna talk about, which are just like really behind the scenes technical improvements to make Todoist uh, faster. The first is we've added virtualization to our task list render. This is so hard to say. Virtualization to our task list rendering. This is basically a way on the web app to only load the tasks and content that you actually need to see rather than all of it at once, which is what we were doing before and would lead to like a really sluggish experience if you have projects with lots of tasks in them. So you might not even notice this, but scrolling through big projects should feel a lot faster now. Also much faster. <laughs> this one I'm just gonna read because I don't really have much more context for, but essentially the web app reloads even quicker now, thanks to some under the hood changes, the way that we release updates, and they're now released 50 times faster. And that's according to our front end head, Henning, and he is not known to exaggerate, so you can trust that number. So those are all the changes in the app that I wanna talk about this month, but before I go, I wanna invite you to check out some of our other YouTube content that we've been making. Uh, Naomi has been producing these like less than 10 minute long productivity guide videos, which gives you a starter kit for thinking about how you get things done uh, in a more structured way. One that she made this month is called the Eisenhower Matrix, and it's a very simple structure for determining what is important or not and urgent or not in your task list. And then it helps you decide what to do, what not to do, what to ask someone else to do, and what to do later. So take a look at that if you're curious and check out our other videos as well. Otherwise, I'll be back in November to share the big stuff that we have planned for that month. And I'm very excited for some of those things. So stay tuned. See you later. Bye.